Mastering English. Unleash the power of descriptions, functions and uses. Hello, dear learners. Today we'll be diving into an exciting topic, understanding the concept of functions and uses in the English language. This is essential when we're describing things, as it helps us convey information more accurately and effectively. So, let's jump right into it. The functions and uses of something refer to its purpose, role, or the tasks it performs. When we talk about an item's function, we're discussing what it does or what it's used for. This concept is vital in English because it enables us to provide comprehensive descriptions of items. For instance, consider a smartphone. We can say, a smartphone is a portable device that enables us to make calls, send messages, browse the internet, take photos, and use various apps. Here, we're not just naming the object but also detailing its functions and uses. When describing an item's functions and uses, there are certain verbs and phrases that are particularly helpful. These include, is used for, is for, serves as, functions as, and, is designed to. Let's practice with a few examples. A knife is used for cutting food. This room serves as a library in our house. The sun functions as a source of light and heat for the earth. This device is designed to make our work more efficient. Remember, using these verbs and phrases correctly will not only enhance your descriptions but also your overall English language skills. In addition to using specific verbs and phrases, employing descriptive adjectives can help elaborate on functions and uses. Descriptive adjectives provide specific details that give the listener or reader a clearer understanding of the object you're talking about. For instance, a laptop is a portable device that is used for various tasks such as typing documents, browsing the internet, and playing games. This is a multi-purpose room. It serves as a guest room, a study, and a home gym. By using these adjectives, we provide more details about the thing we are describing, making our explanations more precise and enriching. That's a wrap on our lesson about understanding the concept of functions and uses when describing things in English. By understanding and applying this concept, you'll be able to give comprehensive and clear descriptions in your conversations. It may take a bit of practice, but I am confident you'll master it in no time. Remember, English is not just about speaking, it's about expressing, sharing, and connecting. So, continue your practice and keep up the great work. Until next time, happy learning!